everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Survival Let's Play. So right now, um, I'm going through what looks like some stuff that we had, um, like things to do from previous episodes. And I need to start doing this again. I'm going to keep kind of a log here of stuff that we've done. Now, um, I'm kind of like right in between. I found a blank page here. And um, let's find our old Mesa house. I guess that was something that I had put in there probably not even long ago actually not that long ago um because we hadn't found the mesa yet i don't believe because there, there's stuff here that we've done do we do that after the mesa or before the mesa we did the alchemy room and all that i don't remember anyways um long story short i think this is a great idea so i don't know when i put this in um but let's go find the old mesa house if you guys remember we found a mesa not long ago um well not long ago let's play wise but it's been a few months back already but you guys have wondered what is going on over there a lot of you still ask about it because we were going to build this town over there and um now that i think about it i mean i don't think that we're going to be able to to make a town today uh, but i do have some some plans for the near future i think we need to get out of the jungle a little bit our heads are starting to get kind of crazy um <laughs> being in the jungle whoops uh, being in the jungle for so long. So anyways, what I'm doing right now is I have a bunch of bows that I've kind of collected over time from skeletons and I wanted to see how much it would cost to fix my bow. So I have a, a fairly decent bow here and I just want to try and salvage what I can. Oh, nice. Oh, it was only two levels. Sweet. All right. So um, I have replaced, um, I'm down diamonds by the way, I only have five diamonds left, but um, I leveled up a little bit so that I can make some, some decent, you know, a decent set of tools. Now this is iron, but look at that enchant on there, isn't that beautiful baby? It is so good. And I also got this, actually where did I, let me put my shulker box down here. Um, that silk touch, I've had it, but check out that one oh my goodness fortune three i'm pretty happy about that but i don't want to break it um i'd like to like, kind of take care of it this has a fortune one on it i don't care if it gets ruined really so uh, but i just want to hang on to that for a little bit all right so we have infinity on that um let's get rid of this bow here um so anyways let me just show you really quickly. I guess I should have left this down, but we have uh, some materials in here. Now, um, I want to head out to the old Mesa, but while we're out there, I want to do a little bit of camping. So I thought it would be awesome if we built a tent, kind of like a tent city, I'm thinking. Something really cool out in the Mesa. I think that it would really fit well. Um, maybe possibly like a teepee theme. Um, maybe. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Quick phone call. So, anyways, um, yeah, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, good grief. Oh, the Mesa. Anyways, um, a lot of you guys are probably wondering what I'm talking about. Yeah, we went out to the Mesa a few episodes, quite a few episodes back, actually. Um, and we built a Mesa house, and we haven't been back been back out there since and i've talked about things i wanted to do out there um build like um kind of a, a little city out there a little town but i want to build a tent city i think that'd be super cool we'll call it tent city but i kind of want the tents to have maybe a teepee theme or even just this random tents you know we won't even go there we won't say teepees i don't want to say that we're just going to say tent city yeah we're going to build a tent city out there and i think it'd be super cool it'll also get us again out of this jungle for a little bit because we could go possibly mad here so anyways i am going to head out to the mesa and if i remember correctly i did write the coordinates down somewhere for the mesa so we're going to be going to 205 73 negative 1400 yeah here they are okay guys just so you know i'm not the best flyer i have no idea really honestly how to fly really you know i'm gonna take some acacia wood too because i'm feeling like we could probably use a color like this close to the uh going with the mesa maybe i don't know you just never know the gray banner you know can i use this stuff block of block of iron Oh, okay, I remember. I made block of iron because I was going to make some golems out here. And I never collected all the iron I needed. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen one of you in a while, actually. And I did not miss you. So, let's get, <laughs> let's get rid of you. Okay, guys. So, we are going to head out. And I am going to attempt. Let's see if this is going to be a complete fill. 
But I'm going to attempt to fly out. Oh my goodness. That guy was already failing. Oh, look at that. You're so cute. But you're dead. You are so dead. And here, we're off. We're off. Okay. So I believe I need to go 200. I believe the numbers need to go this way. Wait, go this way. Go this way. Okay, so we need to go. We need to head out that way. Wait. The numbers get smaller. The numbers get bigger. Okay, then we're good. Okay, so we need to go all the way out that way. So here goes nothing. Oh my goodness. I'm overusing the rockets, guys. Overusing the rockets, and I'm so sorry. Alright, we gotta keep heading that way. Yeah. I think we're doing pretty good, guys. I didn't realize how far the Mesa was from here. Seriously, the best way to travel. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the Mesa. Here is the Mesa. Oh my gosh, this cut time in half by so much. Oh gosh, we gotta go this way. This way, 1400. 205. I believe. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're going way too far. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Crash landing. We crashed right into our house. Oh gosh, this is awesome. That was the best way to travel ever. I hope the footage was okay on that too. My poor computer was probably about to blow up or something. <laughs> oh goodness. And I was so wasteful. I used a ton of fireworks. Guys, just so you know, I, I don't really fly on these. So that was a complete test for me. All right, guys. So um, as, many of you, as many of you know, I was using the... Uh, B00 textures basically a little mix of mine and his and I have recently gone to the faithful default textures and so I mean just just remember that keep, keep that in mind when you see all of this orange uh, I believe this is orange redstone or not redstone red sand basically um, it was a different kind of texture before so just keep that in mind but I mean it doesn't look too disgusting <laughs> it doesn't look too bad i mean i could probably help it out a little bit by throwing some maybe like some acacia in there like oh gosh that broke that broke it okay that wasn't a good idea but like what if i threw like some acacia in there to kind of break it up a little let's see let's maybe like go like that there we go you know that actually doesn't look too bad we could I'm glad I brought this acacia wood with me good grief what a mess okay um there we go all right yeah that doesn't that doesn't look too bad we could kind of fix the mess we made here let's see using and switching to that's the only thing about switching over switching through texture packs during like mid let's play that's a jungle wood and dirt more redstone or red sand oak stuff we don't really need right now have anything in there smelting up nope nothing you know i'll take this though might need that for something so anyways okay so there's that house um man i probably i'm probably honestly just gonna tear it down yeah that's why <laughs> just gonna tear it down probably i think i built a port here too Built like a little port coming down. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So bad. <laughs> so bad. I I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. That that just that doesn't that doesn't look very I don't know. I don't like it. Alright, so anyways, we are in the Mesa and I'm thinking though, do I wanna build on this red stuff? Or do I wanna build I wanna I know I wanna get rid of you, because you scare me. Scare me a little bit there. Okay, you're dead. Um, hmm. I want to build, like, around here, maybe. So we're kind of close to that. And then we can have, like, a bridge connecting. Maybe that will look pretty awesome. Um, hmm. What's over here? Just got some... Oh, man, there's a lot of you guys out here. You know what I just thought about, though? I don't have a bed. I did not bring a bed out here. Okay, guys, so anyways, I am going to think a little bit here um, for some designs. 
I'm gonna mess around a little bit in creative, and then I'll be back with you guys here in just a moment, and then uh, we'll work on one together. Oh, well, hello guys, welcome back. <laughs> All right, so, um, I know that was probably a lame intro. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, yeah, so I'm just grabbing some of these dead, dead bushes here. I believe that's what they're called. Yeah, dead bush. Um, uh, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm using my silk touch shovel for it. Just gonna, co uh, collect a few because you just never know, I might need them. And it looks like our inventory is getting a little bit full here, our sulkers. But that's quite all right, and I have these here, okay, a little bit of cactus here because um, we ran out of cactus back home. All right, so I did go into creative mode, and I did work on a few designs, um, and I came up with one, which I said we weren't going to go with TP theme, but I feel like it's like the cutest right now in my mind. Like now I can't unsee it. Like I can't just think of a regular tent. I'm thinking like a teepee sort of tent and I think it might look pretty cool. Especially it being in the mesa. I think it's going to work out perfectly. Um, okay. So I also went back home. Oh my goodness. We need to make a bed quick. Quickly, quickly. Let's make a bed. All right. So I did head back home and I grabbed a bunch of string. I've collected string throughout the entire let's play. Um, grabbed a little bit of that. And I also had a bunch of white wool already made up. So I grabbed a little bit of that and I also have more string here. So I'm going to go ahead and make maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. So I had, oh, I had just enough to make the rest of that string. The rest of that wool, I mean. All right. So I'm grabbing some of this spruce here. We are going to use oak. I don't think we're gonna need all of this right now. <laughs> I really, really doubt it. Um, and then we can put some of this acacia. What can we keep on us? Let's just keep that on us for the sake of it. Whatever, okay, cool. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and work on that first design. So I'm thinking about right here is where I'd like to make this little flat areas, like where I'd like to make the tent city. And I think it's gonna work out superbly, hopefully. Man, oh man, <laughs> the decisions I have to make. No, I'm going to do it here. And eventually I am going to learn how to, um, I think this is enough space, yeah. Eventually I want to work out a nether system, a nether hub system to get from like area to area easily, especially getting over to the end because our um, stronghold is so far away and I haven't made my way back over there because of it. Honestly, it's just having to walk back over there, <laughs> to be honest. And I really need to figure out the nether portal thing. So you guys just bear with me. I'm going to work on that. I haven't completely... Oh man, what did I do here? I haven't completely abandoned the end. Um, we do need to make our way back to the end city though because I need more end rods. I'm just about out and um that's not good <laughs> i think i have like three left and i love decorating with them so yeah all right so right now i'm making the top accents to our tent i'm going to call it just a tent okay i think that'll work out for us um i am working on the the top of the tent here um oh no wait i'm doing this way too soon no okay never mind um let's do that and like that okay cool so now we're going to go like so and like so I figured this is a lot easier than pillaring um, which I tend to do all the time but I'm trying to find like different ways of doing this oh okay I just love this resource pack it's so pretty okay so now we can go ahead and make the little accents like this and I want to say that's gonna come up some right, this little Middle portion? No, it's not. It's not. All right, so we are going to. Oh, barely safe. Um, barely made it down safely. Is what I was gonna get at. Um, okay, we're gonna go like that. Perfect. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, I like it. Cool, cool. All right, so now we're gonna bring these up right here, like that, all the way around. Bring these out and then we're going to put I don't know if I want to use logs or hmm hmm no we're gonna go with just the solid spruce all right so I'm gonna try to bring this out kind of like a like you know like a rectangle um, a 3d rectangle I guess 
but I think I may have made it just a little too short. Oh no, I didn't. I made it exactly like I did in creative. Whoops. <laughs> a little off there, Daphne. Okay, yeah. All right, cool. That's exactly how I made it in creative. I wasn't sure if I made it the way I was supposed to. Let's make a little bit more stairs here. And um, I thought about going kind of like outrageous colors, but I thought, you know, I figured let's just stick with the white wool. And the reason I say that is because um, there's so many colors going on in the Mesa right now. And I feel like white wool or even the off-white colors like the white uh, terracotta, which is over there, which oh, I just thought about something. I've been meaning, I'm going to clear this out anyway. Instead of using white wool, what if we use this white terracotta? Not terracotta. Wait, it is, it is terracotta. Yeah, it is terracotta now. It's not clay anymore. Okay. <laughs> um, this white terracotta. Let's see if this off-white will look really cool. But, um, yeah, anyway, so I was wanting, like, a color that kind of popped, considering all the colors that are out here. They're just, like, outrageous colors. I was going to go with, like, red or just something, like, bright, but, or even yellow would stand out a little bit. But, um, I don't know. I mean, this is going to be a tent city, so there's going to be several different kind of tents. And I don't want to just do them in that style. You know, with it being a tent city, I figured, you know, we can just do all kinds of styles and stuff like that. Um, and I think today we'll do, like, maybe, like, three different styles. Three different styles, I think, will be perfect. Um, I'm just going to grab a little bit more of this. I have, like, a little bit over a stack here. Got a good old friend over there hanging out, going for a swim. But we will not give you the chance to make it ashore and make it toward where I'm at right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Enderman. I, I looked over there, but I didn't look at you, dude. I did not look at you. Alright, so let's see how this looks. Whoops. Let's try that. Again. So we're going to do one side with this white terracotta, and then we'll try the other side. Whoops. Went up too much. Is it getting dark again? Oh, the clouds passed over. Alright, let's take a step over here. So there's that side. Oh yeah, I forgot to put some right there. Alright, so there's that. Not too shabby. What if we did that? Okay. And then we have the white wool, which I'm thinking I might end up going with the white. It seems like this is going to work for us a lot better. Okay, so, so we have that. And then we have that. <laughs> Oh, I'm torn. You know, we could make one this color, just a straight white wool, and then this one the white terracotta. Huh. We'll make... Oh my gosh, this is so hard. I think we're going to go with the white wool. That was our initial idea. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comment section, what did you like, the white terracotta or the white wool? But for now, we are going to go for the white wool. Okay, definitely like it. All right, so we do need to put a doorway on this thing. So I'm thinking we'll put the door. Unfortunately, we have to clear out some, some of this spot here. We'll put the door like around there. And then we'll put this here like uh, something outrageous. I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Um, We could go like... Huh. We could go like this. Hey, yeah. Just, just try it, you know? You just place blocks different directions and angles and you come up with different designs. I don't know. That looks kind of cool, actually. I like it. We'll have to remove this, flatten it out a little bit. Maybe add, like, a little bit of accent. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, gosh, you better sleep. What am I doing? <laughs> you are not in creative mode. You better go to sleep right now. Okay, so I think the door, the front door is looking pretty good. Um, I think, however, I might want to remove this and maybe put like, oh, that's not going to work. Whoops. Maybe we'll have to put, it's not going to work because you can see like the white portion of the, the log. I can't wait to get the, um, is it like stripped logs or something like that? Um, that's going to come with the new textures. Oh man, that's going to be so nice. I just hope that whoever is in charge of doing this uh 
the faith wall textures and stuff like that and he'll that he'll be on the ball like he'll be on it as soon as that stuff's you know hits uh windows 10 because i i hope i hope that i can still use this resource pack because i love it so much i've fallen in love all over again all right so how's that look oh kind of don't like this part right here you know what might okay let's just put that back Okay, yeah, I like that. That looks pretty good right there. We could make the log sideways, though. Yeah, there we go. That looks so much better. Straight up the middle, and I think I want to make this one just a little bit longer. Now, some of these, like, I haven't built this one in creative yet. We're just building, guys. Right now, we're just kind of going with it, and we'll see where it takes us. So... I hope you guys like this. If you do, you guys make sure to leave some feedback. You know what I haven't really talked to you guys about either? Jack Frost Miner's face reveal. Holy crap, right guys? Like, <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you are. I have known Jack for a few years. Not like on a super personal level, but YouTube wise. Like we know of each other. You know, we've been around, you know, the pocket edition community minecraft pocket edition community long enough to kind of to know of each other you know we've been on a few um smps together you know keep in contact and stuff like that and to finally see him guys i, I was just like it's like seeing a unicorn <laughs> honestly so that was pretty awesome i i think you guys were just as stoked as i was i was pretty i was pretty stoked and to finally put a face on the voice of the Jack Frost Miner. So honestly, like him and of course a lot of you youngins don't know who um Joe Pass Gaming are, they were both my biggest inspirations for starting YouTube in the first place. Like I started out watching them guy th those guys. Um first it was Joe Pass Gaming and there was another guy by the name of uh, well they call him Woggy but it was World of Gaming. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys remember him, if you've been around long enough. But anyways, him and then, of course, Jack. And um, I started watching them, and then I decided to start recording, kind of give it a shot, and got a Twitter account dedicated to, you know, my, play Minecraft. And, um, yeah, and so I remember, I still remember on my old Twitter account, it was, like, before I even started um, posting. No, I did post videos. I had just started. Oh, I would take that back. Um, Jack followed me. <laughs> he followed me on Twitter and I fangirled so much. And it's funny because Jack is super, he's so much younger than I am. And I was the one fangirling. Like I was such, it sounds weird, <laughs> but at the time, um, I was so stoked that he followed me. I'm officially done with that. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> there I go again. Oh, go to sleep. Whew. Okay, so I am officially done. I went all the way around the um, the tent. I'm going to do something, you know, a little bit different today. We are going to have a subscriber house over here. And for this, we could... I don't have any logs. Yes, I do. We are going to go like that. Okay. And then we can go ahead and place these maybe like so and like so okay place these here all right yeah that's fairly that's pretty simple and it looks nice we could probably go like this Ooh, ooh, i like that one that looks great and that looks like this looks like it could be a really nice subby tent i'm going to dedicate this tent to two of you guys tonight. So, anyways, um, yeah. What do I got my sign? Oh yeah, I have a sign right here. Okay, so our two subscribers that I'm going to dedicate this particular little tent is going to be to Coco Love and Dennis Martin. Thank you guys. Huge shout out to you guys um, for leaving and, and you know leaving the the comments you do and the support. It's awesome. Thank you so much. So um yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Let's Play episode. Definitely different. We are far from home and it's nice. It's a breath of fresh air. It's nice. I feel like you know we can see the sky and 
it's just really refreshing out here and there's so much stuff to do out here I believe it's gonna be a blast and I can't wait to get this tent city going and rolling and I think I think we'll have a lot of fun over here this is definitely going to be a project that um, I'm gonna put full force guys have no fears no worries I'll be back soon so anyways guys as always I love you all I'll see you next time bye